Hello, my name is Anna Salazar. I am a licensed professional counselor in the state of Texas. I am a generalist counselor and a clinical case manager at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi in the University Counseling Center. This video is a series in collaboration with GROW to bring you suggestions on how to survive graduate school. As a professional, I'm here to give you real life tips and suggestions and recommendations so you can succeed in your education. On a personal note, I get it. I work full time, I'm a parent, and I'm also a full time second year doctoral student. Hopefully there's something in this video that you can take away with you to help you not only survive, but to thrive in your education and in your career path. Let's go. Hey y'all. So this video is going to be focused on prioritization and saying no as a professional. This can be a challenge for all you go-getters. This is a challenge for me sometimes. That's okay, I get it. So I'm gonna walk you through some steps to figure out how is this going to meet my goals? How can I say no as a professional? And how can I still meet all of my personal, academic, and professional goals? The first thing I would encourage you to do is really make sure that your goals are laid out. They don't have to be set in stone. Um, they don't have to be um, on a worksheet. I mean, I'm a counselor, so I'm gonna recommend that. But they really don't need to be super fleshed out. Just kind of understanding what are your professional and academic and personal goals and make sure they're SMART goals. S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time limited, okay? And that just means that you've sat down and you've kind of thought about it, or you've worked with your mentor or your advisor on how to make sure that these goals are things that you can do and how, how can you meet them? What are the steps inside there? So before I get into more um, of the bulk of the video, I do want to encourage you that y'all have done so much already. You've achieved so many goals. You can do anything and you don't have to do everything. Okay. And so actually in speaking with, with some professional peers of mine, you know, your resume or your CV may look a little clunky and may look a little unmarketable if you do all the things without targeting some very specific goals. Now, some of what that might look like is going to be a little different depending on your program, um, kind of what your research is, kind of your thesis, dissertation. So some of this can be a little fluid. So make sure you meet with a mentor or some peers or some advisors to really nail down some of those specific things that you're gonna need to target and talk about and think about. Um, but overall, are the things that you're doing that you're saying yes to draining your time and making you tired and stressed? Um, or are they meeting your goals? And sometimes we have to take a step back and really figure out what are the things that are going to actually help me versus what are the things that I'm just doing to check some boxes, okay? Um, <clears throat> saying yes or no needs to be critically evaluated, okay? And I'm gonna look back and forth to my notes. Um, just because you can do anything doesn't mean you have to do everything. How is that going to meet your SMART goals by saying yes to these projects? Um, does it align with your goals? Is it going to help you? Um, does it literally fit in your schedule? Okay, so when you say yes, before you say yes, take a step back and how does that align? How does that work? How is this going to help me? Um, there is a caveat here. So depending on your program, your, your goals, and this is why it's important to talk to a mentor about these things, depending on your personal goals, you may have to say yes to certain projects in order to um, align or partner with somebody in your field or in order to, um, you may have to say yes to some public presentations um, just because you know that's required in your field even though it's not your preference. Or you may have to do something that's a little more quantitative versus qualitative uh, because that's more expected or vice versa. You know, so some of, some of these things you have to say yes. You have to say yes to a project that you're not really familiar or you're not really secure in um, because you know that's going to be the next step to achieving some bigger goals, okay? But there's a difference there. These other steps will still lead you through to your other goals, even if they're not your preference. What I'm gonna dig into for the next few minutes is really how do you say no 
when they don't fit your goals or don't fit your needs, or you just can't squeeze the time in, or just how do you say no as a professional? And again, this is going to vary by your degree, your program, your goals, but I'm just gonna kind of give you an overview. So when saying no as a professional, you can take a firm stance. No, thank you, period, is a complete sentence. Now, this may be a challenge, okay? Depending on your upbringing, your stress levels, um, your cultural perspectives, um, saying no may seem rude, it may seem unusual. And so I'm gonna give you some tips for how to help flesh that out um, <clears throat> for you to succeed. So be firm when you're saying no, when you have to say no, this is when you've looked at it, you've, you, you're approached with an opportunity um, or you've been asked to partner on something and it just doesn't fit your time or your schedule and you want to say no, but you don't know how to. Um, no is a complete sentence. Be firm, but be polite, okay? No thank you or no I appreciate it, but I can't at this time. Um, be brief when you reply, whether it's via email or in person or you know whatever the communication may be, be brief and you don't need to go into a lot of details. Um, I'm gonna give you some examples. Unfortunately, well, back up, someone's asked you to partner on something and you don't have the time or it doesn't fit into your schedule or it just doesn't align with your goals. You could say something like, no, thank you. Unfortunately, I have another presentation conflict for that timeline. That makes sense. To another professional who's on presentation timeline that makes sense to them or you could say something like um, no thank you my other projects time com commitments will interfere in me doing this task well be upfront about that I can't commit the time level that you're gonna need for this project so my other projects time commitments will prevent me from doing this task well um, you could also sometimes you're, you're faced with the, an opportunity and you, you don't have time for it, but you really want to do it um, but it, you know, you're, it's too stressful or maybe it's just not the right time for you. And so you can ask for other ways to invest. And so recommendations for that are, um, I would appreciate another opportunity to collaborate if you have a project next semester or one with a different time frame. So that says no, and I'm willing to do some other stuff later. Or another opportunity might be, uh, I mean, another way to, to turn down an opportunity, but you still want to do something with that person later, would be, that sounds exciting. However, that does not fit within my skill set. Would you be willing to partner on this other type of project or this other area, this other viewpoint, right? So the original opportunity might not match your, your goals. Like it's not gonna help you grow. It's not gonna help you reach anything but you still wanna work with that person or that research project still sounds interesting to you. Um, so that's not really what I'm trained in or what I'm getting trained on, but could you partner with me on this other thing, right? So just a different way to say um, no for the thing you're asking me to do, but I still wanna work with you. So sometimes this may work and sometimes this may not. Sometimes this, they, they would say like, you know, no, I, th th I really needed you to help me with A, but since you're only trained on B, However, that has put you on that person's radar for, oh, the next time I need to do a B, I know that Anna is down for that kind of stuff, okay? And so this one is a little more broad. This video is a little more vague um, because it's gonna depend. It's gonna depend on what your goals are, but I want to encourage you and kind of the takeaway from this one today is going to be that before you say yes and before you say no, yes, if it aligns with your goals and you can get it in there and you can get it done, then sure, absolutely. You know, when you have the time, take that opportunity, okay? And if you have to say no, there's ways to do it professionally without burning bridges, without feeling like you failed, without feeling like you can't commit, um, and still, you know, paving the way for you to make those connections and those relationships for further on um, in your professional career. So the takeaway is figure out what your goals are. Figure out what you can say yes or no to. Um, what are those realistic steps? Make smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, time, timely, time limited. Um, and then figure out if these opportunities fit or not. If you can say yes, yes, cool. Uh, if you have to say no, there's ways to do it that are professional that still help you. If there are some bigger questions or concerns you have about that, as always, come into the Counseling Center, have a consultation with one of our counselors to help you make this decision. 
check out the GROW website for all the other, other resources that are available. And good luck. You can do anything, but you don't have to do everything. Till next time.